Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another video I hope you're having a wonderful day so in today's video I'm going to talk about one dividend stock that is undervalued so much at the moment and this is one of those companies whose product you actually right now have in your household and is very much one of the stocks that one of the companies whose product we just buy without even thinking about okay so i'm going to share with you the details but before i do that i want to as usual i want to tell you everything about the discord and about the patreon account i am going to inshallah share with you guys everything i do in terms of buys and sales and dividends in the discord so join us if you haven't already we also have a pdf that has so much information that I shared with you guys I've talked about a little bit in one basically and in the video that I've talked about and in the last video so go and watch that video if you want to know a bit more information about this this is also available on the discord you can get access to that inshallah right now now let's talk about the company because I don't want to make the video too long I want to make it nice and short and talk about this company product wise you know this everything about this company and the company that we're talking about today is Nike Nike's one of those companies that have been around for a very, very long time. If you look at home, the stuff that you own, I am sure you've got loads of loads of products that this company owns. You probably were wearing their trainers, jackets, whatever, tracksuits, and all sorts of things, right? And you, if you are a parent, you probably have some of their products as well. So right now, the company is trading $110 per share. The five-year basically with uh, return is almost 50 percent and eps right now is three dollars and 45 47 cents it's a huge company 175 billion market cap which is absolutely huge it has a wide economic mode it kind of monopolized the sneakers or basically trainers world if you like with the jordans and all of that stuff okay beta slightly above one okay and pe right now we're looking about 31 now, in comparison to the sector, which is about 26 right now, the consumer discretionary um, sector, it looks like it's a little bit um, expensive. Forward looks also expensive, 35. Five year, when you look at the five-year average, though, average PE, it looks like it's basically around trading at basically a fair value at the moment. And price to free cash flow is 47 right now. And as you know, the sector is about 22 PE right now. So when you look at it from PE perspective, it seems a bit expensive. But when you compare it with the five year average, because remember this, the type of this company is like in terms of growth side of it, if investors basically think obviously this company is growing double digits every single year, um, then you will obviously trade higher multiples. And that's probably why it has a five year average or PE of 34. Maybe in the last five to 10 years, this company has been growing so much now in terms of dividends okay they pay 1.2 percent dividend okay Th um, payout ratio 36 percent latest increase with 11 percent and the five-year growth rate of 11 percent in terms of dividend growth streaks in 20 years so five more years this company will become a dividend aristocrat the annual payout is one dollar and 36 cents and dividend safety on 99 percent free cash flow of 3.8 billion dollars free cash flow yield of 2.2 percent so almost closer to what we're looking for and free cash flow margin above what we're looking for which is about five percent profit margin will look about 10 percent operating margin of 12 percent and return on equity 36 percent which is very good total return in the last 10 years we're looking at about 15 percent this is why probably this company trades higher multiples and return on invested capital is about 20 percent return basically in terms of revenue growth annual com, um, compounding annual growth rate of eight percent which is not a lot for this company in the last five years current ratio just about well above two um two at the moment you know 2.7 which is really good in terms of the growth expectation for next year and basically next day is about 23 percent which is huge and then seven or eight percent almost every single year for the next five years which is absolutely amazing current price we're looking at about 100 and basically 10 dollars per share and the fair value for this company according to Morningstar, is actually 138 dollars per share that's about almost a 21 and a half percent um basically undervalued at the moment it's basically according to um simply wall street actually they're saying is overvalued about 34 percent and 85 dollars is basically what they're saying tip rank and sim basically seeking alpha have more or less the same 
139, 134 price target and is a buy according to Seeking Alpha. Now, in terms of rate compliance side of things, it's almost 100% in terms of business side of it. They have a very low debt, so interest bearing um, debt is very low, and interest bearing securities is actually lower. And they have been buying the, back their own shares. Now, just to be transparent with you guys, I own Nike in the family portfolio. This is one of the companies that my kids picked because they wanted, obviously. When we talked about it and I've kind of explained to them what companies would you ever want to invest in, da, 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 they do have a lot of trainers and things like that from this company. So they picked it. It's been in the portfolio for quite some time now and is actually, um, I think they... I think I started buying when it was below 100. It went uh, for a while ago and now I'm in profit for a basically a little bit. But again, I'm basically not worried about that portfolio. It can go be up and down just like this one here. I don't really check that portfolio at all. This one I check on daily basis. The other one actually I don't touch it. So the kids actually picked this company. I'm going to leave it in their portfolio for a quite some time inshallah. Anyway, that's the company that I wanted to share with you guys today. But one thing before we actually um, finish the video off is go to the earnings, for example, and look at from each year what they're expecting in terms of earnings. So next year, basically, they're expecting a basic this year, in fact, not next year. But then next year is about 23%, 18%, 16%. So there is a decline this year. But after that, we, it looks like the company is heading the right direction. And then when you look at the year-on-year -year growth for the um, revenue estimates, you look about 9%, 6%, 8%, 7%, and so on. Okay, so it's actually solid business. It looks good so far. I mean, the PE is very expensive. And when you look at it, basic seeking alpha analyst and quant, both of them are saying, obviously, it's a hold right now. But Wall Street, as usual, okay, being Wall Street and being big bullish on every single company out there, they actually saying it's a buy right now. So they have 17 strong buys, 7 buys, 11 hold, and 2 sells. And if you look at Seeking Alpha, okay, it's only 1 buy. So the analyst in Seeking Alpha, and 8 hold, and 2 sells, and 1 strong buy. Strong sell, sorry. Um, so yeah, there you have it. That's the company that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Okay. Um, if you are, please like the video, subscribe to the channel as usual, and it really, really helps. And obviously make dua for me and for my, by the time you watch this video, by the way, I will be doing Hajj inshallah, like I said in the last video. So make dua for me inshallah. And when I return, inshallah, I will be doing a lot more videos and sharing my journey to Hajj and everything else inshallah. Have a wonderful day. Assalamu alaikum.